Hey there, home theater fans, and should I say, two channel fans. My name is Todd with avnirvana.com, and today we're checking out two brand new signature speakers from the great folks at Bowers & Wilkins. Recently, I was invited out to a media event at Massimo Consumer Headquarters, and there Andy Kerr from Bowers & Wilkins led us through a day of some really interesting talk uh, with backgrounds on the brand, but also revealing these beautiful speakers. We got to handle some of the brand new parts that cap both cabinet parts and internal parts for the speaker, which I'm going to be showing you in this video. And of course, we also got to hear them in action. So I will give you my impressions of what they sounded like. All that coming up next. <laughs> Okay, and earlier this month, I found myself back out in Southern California at Carlsbad uh, for another Mosmo consumer event. This time, we had Bowers and Wilkins hosting us. You can see a photo right there. Just a small group of us uh, from the press corps. I'm sure you recognize quite a few folks in that image right there, but a uh, ton of fun to be invited back out uh, to hear some brand new gear in action. Now, today we're focusing purely on Bowers & Wilkins and two new speakers that they're releasing as part of their signature series. This series uh, has roots that grow deep. It goes way back to 1991 when they were celebrating their 25th anniversary, but also celebrating the life of their founder, John Bowers. And they re-released the uh, Matrix 805 uh, and something that was called the Signature Series. And you can see the signature right there on the bottom right-hand side of the main driver. Uh, this speaker was something that they did as a passion project, as a, you know, a love letter to audiophiles, I guess you could say. Basically told engineers, go for it. Don't worry about cost. And the speaker ended up costing about four times as much as the Matrix 805. And they've had several other iterations of the Signature series over the years, but that leads us right to today. Now, what we're looking at is right here. We have the bookshelf version called the 805 Signature. This is a smaller model in the range. It's a two-way stand mount loudspeaker that uses a tweeter on top configuration. You can see right there, and it is compatible with the optional 805D4 stand. Uh, this one sells for $12,000 per pair. And we also have the larger 801 signature that is again based on the 805D4. This one is a slightly different animal where the price really jumps up to $50,000 per pair. These are big time, beautiful speakers. I think they weigh somewhere around 225 pounds each. They're heavy hitters. They're gorgeous to look at and really works of art when you get down to the breast tacks of the matter. And Bowers & Wilkins is very keen on everyone knowing that these are not a replacement for the 805 and 801 D4 models. These are just a special, what they're calling limited edition run of a signature version of those speakers. Now you might be wondering, okay, limited, does this mean they're limited in number? Yes and no. So basically how that works is they're going to push out a run and see if it meets demand. If it does not meet demand, they will see how much demand there is. And if it's worth uh, the economics of the matter, if, if it's worth them actually going out and purchasing all the necessary parts and material, and we're gonna get into some of those materials such as the Connolly leather, uh, if, they, if they have enough of a demand for more of the speakers, they will definitely make it happen. But if they don't, this first run could be it. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna spend most of our time talking about the 801 signature, but let's take a quick peek at the 805 signature. As you can see, it looks just like the 805 D4 model. It's a two-way vented box. You can see right there, the port is on the front of the speaker and it features a 25 millimeter diamond dome tweeter and a 165 millimeter continuum cone base mid-range driver. 
Much like its bigger brother, the 801 Signature, this particular speaker will be available in both midnight blue metallic paint, trimmed with a matching blue Connolly leather, which we'll get into, or California burl wood veneer, which you can see right there. And that has a matching black Connolly leather surface. And here's a look at the 801 Signature in Midnight Blue Metallic. And I gotta say, folks, that process that they go through finishing these speakers is absolutely fascinating and insanely time-consuming. Let's check it out while I show you a couple pictures here of what the speakers look like. I'm gonna run through the process that they have to go through to get these speakers looking top-notch. From start to finish, the Midnight Blue Metallic takes nearly nine days to complete. That includes 18 hours of finish time, along with a total of eight days of curing time. They obviously start off with a raw cabinet, which is robot sanded with two different types of sandpaper, and that's followed by some hands-on time for finishing and masking uh, by humans in the factory. Then they apply 350 microns of black polyester paint through uh, the use of an automated robot. And uh, that is applied over a period of five different coats. The cabinets are then left to cure for at least 96 hours, followed by more sanding, finishing, and masking. Next, two coats of base paint are applied, followed by sanding with 2000 grit paper and the application of 130 microns of clear top coat applied over four coats. After that's applied, we have another 96 hours of curing. Then robots are brought back into the equation. More sanding is done, polishing is done, and then you have a thorough human check over of the speaker, which Bowers and Wilkins says takes up to 30 minutes, and that includes polishing and you know a total overall visual inspection of the surface to make sure that it's perfect. The finish is extraordinarily stunning to the eye. Unfortunately, I only saw the blue uh, coloring in more of a darkened environment, but you can see right there, lots of character definitely was showing up. And of course you have the California burl wood veneer. Whew, boy, this is just so buttery and delicious looking. Uh, just so much for the eye to take in. And this particular process uh, for that type of finish takes even longer, up to another six, seven hours than the blue metallic finish. So lots of effort uh, goes into just making these cabinets look as amazing as they do. Now I've mentioned the application of Conley leather, which is leather that is typically sourced for super high-end uh, auto manufacturers, but you can see it right there. So the blue speaker has blue, the uh, California Burl has black, and this is like this insanely exquisite touch. Uh, just one more uh, layer of texture onto the speaker, and it just, oh, it's just so subtle, but looks fantastic to the eye. Very befitting of a speaker that runs in the $50,000 range. Of course, smaller speakers uh, at 12K per pair. Uh, that's nothing to sneeze at, and it looks equally as nice on those. Of course, none of this matters if the speakers don't sound good. And if you've ever heard the 800 series uh, before, you know they are very exacting, uh, tripping kind of into that neutral territory, but they also have a little bit of an edge in brightness and definition that just really brings out a tremendous amount of character in uh, music. They sound really wonderful. So being, you know, in a position to say that, well, we're gonna go out and actually top that uh, is quite an endeavor. So what exactly have they done? So let's start at the very tippy top of the speaker where you have the tweeter and you can see that really uh, appealing mesh grill that's on the front of the tweeter. So that was originally released in 2015. It is a rigid surface, so the tweeter can't be damaged, but they've tried to make it as open as possible so as much acoustic information can pass through. 
So what they wanted to do uh, with the signature series is make it even more transparent. They say they went through 25 different iterations before they settled on what is included on the new 805 signature and 801 signature speakers. And you can see right there, right and left, uh, on the left side, you have the older version, on the right side, the newer version. Okay, so your eye might not be picking up, so let's zoom in. And right there, you see those circles that are in the, uh, the mesh part of the grill. If you look over at the older one right there, you can see they are triangles. And essentially they're saying that equates to 25 to 30, maybe 35% more openness in terms of acoustic transparency while still maintaining that rigid nature that will protect the tweeter. So, the new speaker is supposedly going to benefit uh, in that department. I have to say, uh, hearing these speakers in action, that's maybe not a characteristic that my ear was able to pick up on during demo sessions. Of course, auditory memory is not exactly reliable, but we will get to something where I did hear a difference in just a few seconds. Um, but nevertheless, We'll have to take their word for it in this case that uh, these are actually better performing tweeter covers than what you find on the original 801 and 805 D4 models. Now, stepping down just a little bit from that tweeter on the 801 signature, we find a brand new aluminum top plate. Now here, Bowers and Wilkins say they have machined out holes in the structure of the top plate that change the resonant frequency of the aluminum, but they've also added two additional fixing points that allow them to couple this plate tighter onto the cabinet itself. And that top plate is paired with a plastic collar. That's the part of the speaker that has the leather wrapped on it. That collar has tech sound strategically placed in it, which helps to damp down uh, vibration from infiltrating into the cabinet. Uh, overall, they're saying that both of these structures basically are changing the resonant frequency, pushing it upwards because really to control lower frequencies, you need more mass. So they're trying to push any vibrations upward and uh, making it a lot easier to control and less intrusive into the sound that you're enjoying coming from the speaker. Speaking of the speaker, here you can see the new 801 signature 25 centimeter driver. That's equivalent to 10 inches. This is the speaker's low frequency driver. And they're basically saying that the changes that they've made to it have lowered overall distortion. And we're basically finding the same exact uh, claim for what is being used on the 805 signature model uh, as compared to what you find on the 805 D4 speaker. Of course, when it comes to tweeters and woofers, in a passive speaker, there is an internal crossover and that's what you're looking at. The company says they're using upgraded bypass capacitors and that you can see them right there with uh, their yellow finish and they're doubled up in quantity across the board. And the result they claim is an even cleaner sound and what also changes the sound quality is a change to the physical nature of the port that's on the bottom of the 801 signature. And there you can see it in the regular 801 D4 model, the area around the porthole is braced with an aluminum base plate. The purpose of that is to basically make everything as rigid as possible. However, in the standard model, that flared uh, part of the port is made of plastic, but in the 801, they've upped the ante and they've actually made that aluminum to make it more rigid. And they're claiming that leads to what they're saying is a tighter bass response and a cleaner leading edge to bass notes. And folks, I have to say, right here is where I heard the biggest difference between the 801 D4 and the 801 Signature Series speaker. The bass presentation on the 801 Signature was better across the board for me. Uh, it was tighter, it was a little more pronounced and forward, and definitely more defined uh, in the various comparison tracks that we heard during demo sessions. Uh, I think to me, that was probably the big takeaway, uh, but we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. 
And speaking of demos, we were able to hear both the 801 uh, signature and 805 signature in action in the large sound room at Massimo Consumer Headquarters. This is a super large treated room. Uh, and you know, we did A-B comparisons between the original 801 D4 model and the 801 signature model. If you're wondering how that was done, it was done very tediously and quickly. Uh, they switched speakers out. They used lasers uh, to align distances and align the speakers with uh, markers in terms of toe-in uh, professional and very, very quick. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any amount of quickness that will make up for uh, humans' inability to remember specific things, but let me talk in some generalities. Um, a lot of the songs we heard focused on vocals, and uh, the voices are just extraordinarily revealed with these speakers. I was particularly smitten with the, uh, the 801 Signature Series. Uh, for my money, uh, I say my money, of course, we're talking about a difference between $12,000 and $50,000, but for my money, uh, it just was the overall presentation of the 801 Signature from top to bottom that just stood out. Uh, just breathtaking, expansive vocals. Uh, drum strikes were sharp and fast so detailed. Same goes with uh, acoustic guitars and the bass presentation. Uh, as I mentioned just a second ago, the bass presentation on the 801 Signature Series stood out head and shoulders above the rest to my ears and to my uh, auditory memory. It seemed strikingly different than what was present on the 801 D4 800 series uh, speaker. Now in terms of bass output on the 805 uh, signature series, I would say it is there. It's good enough for probably 90, maybe 95% of music. If you're looking at some hardcore drum and bass, perhaps some ambient sound, uh, that has a really low end push, you might be missing out on a little bit, but if most of your music falls into that pop, rock, classical, jazz type category, I think you're gonna be very happy with the 805 Signature Series models. Of course, the large size, uh, the, the more extensive driver array, and everything that the 801 has going for it, the sound output is just richer and fuller. Uh, just a, a wonderful sounding speaker. If you're a big fan of the 801 D4 and you're thinking about maybe switching things up a little bit, I would definitely seek out a pair of the 801 Signature Series speakers. Give them a listen. You never know what's going to strike your fancy, but I believe you are going to hear a change in the bass where it's just tighter, a little more defined, uh, and definitely a little bit more punch without an added uh, amount of muddiness. Uh, yeah, for me, that was my big take home. I think they did an extraordinary job and probably more than anything has to do with some of their changes to not only their driver, but also to the port that's at the bottom of the speaker. Okay, if you want to get in on a pair of these speakers, either the 805 Signature or 801 Signature model, you can begin placing orders today through uh, select dealers. Today is June 28th, 2023. Of course, those orders will only be open as long as the first run of limited edition models goes. How many will that be? They didn't exactly say, but like I said, if there's enough demand, they will do a second run. If not, this is going to be it for the time being. So track down your preferred dealer. If you don't have one, you can go over to the Bowers and Wilkins website and search for a dealer there. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. If you'd like to track me down, you can find me on Twitter. My handle there is at AVWoofer. And of course, you can always find me on the home theater forum over at avnirvana.com. My username there is my name, Todd Anderson. 
If you'd like to talk about these speakers, if you have any questions for me about these speakers, please do it over on our form. That's going to be the place where you can most easily track me down. There's a link right down below that will take you right over to a thread already set up to talk about these speakers and you can ask any questions there. Maybe you're a fan of the 800 series or an owner of the 805 or 801 D4 model and you'd like to chime in and talk about your listening experience, your ownership experience. Uh, you can do it all right there. I look forward to seeing you there and hey, have a great day.